Okay, I just thought I'd show you a quick little trick here for getting light and shade into a, a sketch quite quickly. This is a drawing I did, uh, stood in the street in January where it was a little bit warm for an afternoon, uh, but these uh, storm clouds in the background didn't stay away for long. So, got the uh, sketch done, some colour on it, um, but it's looking a bit flat. Um, need to get some shadow in there. It was sunny when I started painting this. Uh, so here we go. I'm just going to mix up uh, what I use as like a standard shade colour, which is uh, a bit of ultramarine blue. Uh, these are Winsor & Newton uh, pan colours, but uh, tubes would be equally good. So I'll mix up a little bit of that. Some uh, alizarin in there, which will start to make it quite a nice purpley colour, a bit more blue, and then I'll mix in some um, burnt umber as well to just sort of take the edge off it, sort of dull it down a little bit. Uh, don't want a shadow that's too vivid, so I want something that's going to sink back and also it sort of helps play with the walls. Let's have a look what we get there, a little bit purpley, I think I prefer it a little, a little bluer. So let's have a look. That's, that's not a bad little shade colour. Let's give it a touch more red. Okay, how's that looking? That's looking okay. So we've tried that out. It looks like it's going to be alright. And here's really where you've got to be bold. Um, all this wall here is in shade. The sun's really coming down on the front of the house. Um, so what we're going to do is just take this purpley colour and just wash it smoothly over the whole face of the building and this is where people start getting a bit scared when they're putting shade on but it'll really help that sink back and we'll just pull a bit more on where the sun's going to be casting a shadow across there a little bit over the edge there I'll just take it off my finger uh, so there we've got now it's helping the face of the building to really stand out. Working across uh, left to right because I'm right-handed, uh, we can start putting a little bit of shadow into here and again this will help the the windows to really stand out and give it a little bit of depth. Put a tiny little bit in there because it's probably set back a bit. We've then got this uh, little veranda here. We'll be throwing some shadow down and also in this doorway and the door reveal we'll be casting some shadow down there and then on the ends of the the ends of the steps also a bit of that pot so that's hopefully giving it a little bit of roundness now uh, we'll just get a bit more because these are artist quality paints they're quite granulating and they start to settle very quickly so we're just giving them another stir on the on the palette, putting in some little pieces here. If it's too dark, don't worry too much. It's watercolour; it's going to dry light. So we'll just drop a little bit more in there and there. We can always go over this and deepen some of these shadows later if we want to. So there we go. That's the door through the window here. I'm just going to carefully pull that down. These are, this is an Escoda size 12 um, sable brush which gives me a fantastic point even for quite detailed work. Uh, I've been using these for about six months or so now and find them very very good, particularly for outdoor work because they're collapsible. You can fold them into the handle and uh, keeps them really nice. There we go. So drop a bit in there. Then we've got the other doorway here. And that's going to drop back again. This is quite a deep, deep recess on the door, so we're going to drop that on that step there. It's going to cast a little bit of shadow as well. We'll just put a teeny bit on this side of this shutter, give it the impression of just being open, so one of them's catching some light, the other one isn't. We've again got the uh, little veranda here, the balcony sticking out and that's going to catch some there and just throw a little bit of shadow across onto 
the building there. Uh, guttering, that's going to throw us a little bit of a, a shadow along here, so we'll just drop that in across the bottom there and across the top here. Uh, that plant is also going to cast a bit of a, a shadow onto there, so we'll give that a bit of dappled sort of shade there, a little bit on the side of the door there. This is quite a, a lot of relief on this, so we'll give that a bit of shadow as well, just to help it stand out. And really, that's probably for this all that it needs, but it's just added a nice little bit of depth to it that wasn't there before. Um, uh, the shutters, we're going to get a little bit of shadow cast behind each shutter here, so we'll just put that on in there. Because I'm using this very, very watery, it's hopefully not going to minimal contact with a brush, and therefore it's not going to start pulling the colour off that I've previously applied. So there we go, a little bit down there will give me a little bit of shadow on there, there we go. And I would say that's probably more or less all we need to do to that. Just to give it a bit of roundness, a bit of depth, I'll dry that off in a minute. And uh, you can have a look, see, finished sketch. So this is only a quick sketch on the spot, but it just adds a bit of life to it and sort of finishes it off for me. Um, planning some art holidays. Details will be uh, hopefully popping up. Uh, on the screen in a minute and uh, if you'd like to get in touch perhaps we can go out sketching on the south of France sometime together. Thanks for watching.